Country Keto Kitchen this morning. I'm going to take you back here and show you what I've been working on this morning. It was kind of a happy little accident, but I'm going to show it to you because I think it, I think you like it. Now, I'm going to show you these things. That pan's still a little warm. Look at that. I was experimenting with some fat hair dough this morning. Now you guys know that I've got, I milk a cow, so I've got, got fresh milk, and I make mozza, my homemade mozzarella, and I make homemade yogurt. It's a, kind of like a Greek yogurt, because it's, because it's kind of thick. And when you make fat head dough, you use mozza, bit my lip, you use mozzarella and cream cheese, but cream cheese, the store-bought cream cheese, I don't always have on hand. So this is some of my, my homemade mozzarella. That's, I make a cheese sticks out of that too. That's good. But anyway, I drained some of the, the yogurt today and used my homemade mozzarella. And I ended up with, with these things. I know, they look like pancakes. And they were getting brown on one side. So I flipped them over in the oven and did both sides. So they're kind of, kind of a little bit on the crispy, chewy side, which is the way I like my bread. But it's a fat head dough, so it's the mozzarella, yogurt, and I used the almond flour and an egg. And I know I made fat head dough where that rise up and make buns, but I just thought this was pretty interesting. I could put anything that I could have on that. Put some jelly on that, or some butter and cinnamon, and cinnamon and you know the artificial sugar. But one of them, I rolled up in a towel, and I'm going to unroll it and put some cream cheese and, and something in there and roll it back up. I could make a pizza on one of them. I could make something Mexican on this one, and I could just eat this one plain, couldn't I? Let me chew that up. That is good. I like it. What's the map? I just warmed up my coffee and I forgot about it, so I'm gonna get drink coffee. But that's good. I could eat that. I know I'm always fixing stuff for the for the family. What was it? I got one more piece of honey bun cake left, and I'll show you these things. And I made I made apple spice whoopie pies yesterday, and I gave them all away to the grandkids except for these two. I kept for Mr. Terry. But that stuff that's stuff that I'm not going to eat. I'm going to stick to this way of eating because it's making me feel better. My aches and pains are getting better. And I like to cook and I like to experiment. So I just keep working on it. I, I, don't, I don't create new recipes. I like to go on the, the, the web, the World Wide Web, and find recipes that other people have made. And then I'll use my ingredients and kind of tweak them with what I have. But it's going to work for me. I'm going to quit eating. That's my trouble. That's the reason that six, four years old I waste so much because I keep eating and eating. But anyway, I'm not telling you to go on a ketogenic diet. But cutting out the sugar and the starches and the carbs is it's not going to hurt you. And it might even make you feel better. Anyway, that's all for me this Sunday morning. I'm going to put something on. This one, I'm going to eat just here in a little bit. I'm going to put something on it to kind of kind of make it make it a little better. I could eat it plain. I wonder if I could cut that up in pieces and make croutons for a salad after a while. I bet I could do that too. That'd be good. The possibilities are endless. I'm going to get off here. That's my short Sunday morning video. I've got things I've got to do and get around and kind of clean up some of this mess. I've, I'm in this kitchen so much, I just mess it up. I've just got 101 things to do and probably won't get none of them finished. 
That's the story of my life. <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all have a wonderful Sunday. Bye.